Well, we've got a very humble hotshot rig for you guys this time. Welcome back, everybody. David Shepard here on the Humble Hotshot channel. Today, coming to you from beautiful Spearfish, South Dakota, with just a couple motorcycle transports and a couple things that are definitely specific and pretty critical to transporting motorcycles. So, I'm going to go over some of that stuff with you guys and um, get into the load and just how to strap down these bikes, how to transport them safely and securely. Obviously, we're talking open transport today, and we're going to get all into that right after a quick word of scripture. So today I want to share Psalm 20, verse 7, which says, Some trust in chariots and others in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. So I think that could be translated into modern terms, just not to trust in the things of this world, not to trust in wealth and, you know, a job security and all the cars and things that money can buy, but rather to put your trust in the one who is faithful and true, the name of the Lord our God. So I hope that encourages you guys to put your faith and hope and trust in Jesus Christ and not in the things of this world. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I like to strap down motorcycles. You can see we've got one in the truck bed. That is our personal bike. I've mentioned in other videos, so not, not exactly perfect the way that's strapped down in the bed of the truck but hey that's just my personal bike it's all scratched up from riding it off road and stuff like that so not too worried about that not really going to show you guys up close on that one i guess um maybe i will not a big deal but that is my personal bike whereas this one is not so i'm going to focus on this one and show you guys how i like to transport motorcycles and like i always say there's more than one way to do this there's there's more than one way to do it properly even i would say but there's a couple definite definite no-nos with transporting motorcycles and uh let me show you guys what we got going so it's a fairly large bike it's a honda st 1300 cc and it's about 650 pounds i believe so did want to get it very secure we've got a total of five straps on it actually and that's one thing i will say redundancy is key with motorcycles I like to transport them perfectly upright, vertical position. Um, I'm gonna get into kind of why I do that in a minute here. But so you need two straps coming down, one in either direction to hold that bike vertically upright. So I really like redundancy. If one of those straps were to fail, either one of them, the bike would flop over to one side. So I'd say four is really a minimum with transporting motorcycles. And you can see, well, actually I will show you guys this one. So you can see, we go up to the bars typically, kind of the in inner part of the bars, not out here where you're gonna damage the grip and uh, potentially bend the bar. The bars are much stronger in here, um, really as close to that triple clamp as you could get them. And I've showed you guys in other videos, but if you're new to the channel um, or haven't seen, I use these soft ties. This hook is actually into the plastic just because of the design of this fairing, but I do use these soft ties going around the bars so that uh, metal hook is not actually touching the handlebar scratching anything up. So on this bike you can see Handlebars on either side. It's not in there perfectly straight, but um, Again, they're pulling in equal and opposite direction right to keep that bike upright Unfortunately on the big Honda here Where we didn't want to rub this fairing you could not go to that strong part of the bar and down to our tie down point on the trailer without getting into the plastics, the front fairing and all that. So um, first things first, we've got one strap on either side. These are just kind of doubled up with the slack, but these are going around, really difficult to see, but they're going around these lower fork legs. So a little bit higher up on these forks on either side. And you can see they're pulling in kind of that uh, opposite direction on an angle downward to keep that bike upright. This is honestly not the best example because this bike is extremely difficult to find good strapping points, um, good securement points where you're not getting into any of the plastics and you're also keeping that bike upright. So the higher up you are on the bike, if we're up on the bars, that's going to be a lot more stable, right? You're just going to get um, much better force pulling that down, better leverage on the bike. So because I wasn't able to do that and we're down low on the fork legs and then there was just not another place. You could see, like many sport bikes are, this has lower fairings and it's just plastic all around. So what we did was run these all the way back to the rear luggage rack on either side. 
And you know what? That's not the strongest part of a motorcycle. Um, thankfully, these are reinforced and come all the way forward. It's kind of uh, grab handles for the for your passenger pillion there. But not the strongest place, so we didn't go super tight with these straps. You can see. But because of the redundancy, this worked for us. So we've got two on the fork legs and then one on each side here. Again, pulling both forward and then both left and right to keep this bike upright. And then our fifth and final strap is through the rear tire so that we're pulling to the rear as well. We've got the chafe guard across the part of the magnesium wheel there. And that's actually also holding our aluminum ramp. So like I said, five straps total. And this bike is very, very secure on here. I mean, the whole trailer moves before the bike even moves, you can see. So very secure, although it's a little bit unconventional how we strap this one down. I would typically go up to the bars, like I mentioned, and that's a very solid point. But say we, we were able to go around here with soft ties pulling down, I still would have done around the fork legs, like I said, for the redundancy, having two backup straps so that you know if one strap fails, it's not gonna flop to one side or the other, you have a backup. So that's just, if you couldn't tell already, that's the biggest thing I would stress with hauling motorcycles. And number two, as I alluded to earlier, keeping that bike perfectly vertical upright. In fact, you can see this is a motorcycle specific trailer and it's got that front wheel chalk that also helps you keep, keep the bike upright. But always upright vertical position, do not transport motorcycles on their kickstand. I see this all the time, both recreational towers, transporters, as well as professionals. I see it on car haulers that pick up a motorcycle load. Never transport them on the kickstand. You can see this kickstand's folded up, it's off the trailer deck, and stowed away. I don't know why people do that. I guess they just think it's extra security. Lean it on the kickstand and strap it down. But that's, that's asking for problems, that's asking to damage the bike because just like with a, a four-wheeled car, or just like with a car, four-wheeled vehicle, we always strap to the unsprung portions, meaning the parts of the vehicle that are not riding on the suspension. Because, so the tires and wheels, obviously, and then the axles are a good one if it's a solid axle vehicle. Always strap to the unsprung portions rather than the sprung areas because if you suck down that suspension with your straps, there's no give when you hit a bump in the road and you could really fatigue the suspension or even cause damage. So same thing if you do that on a motorcycle, if you fold that kickstand down and strap it hard down onto the deck, you're putting all the force on that kickstand. This one's actually pretty substantial compared to many, but all that force is on the kickstand, which was never meant to have that moving force come up and down. That, that's for static, static load of just the weight of the bike leaned over on it. So you're really asking to damage the kickstand or even worse, damage the kickstand bracket, which bolts or is sometimes welded directly to the frame. And if you cause frame damage on a motorcycle, chances are it's gonna be a total loss. So if you ask me, never ever transport them on the kickstand. It's something I see a lot. And if you can't tell, it just kind of bugs me. So kickstand stowed away, not gonna damage that. And then I'll show you the other side, but again, it's just mirror image of what I showed you last time. So a little unconventional, like I said, but this is going up to the rear luggage rack and then lower fork legs as well. You can see we did use some microfiber towels just where these steel buckles are. Didn't want that getting into the plastics at all. So don't be afraid to, uh, you know, get creative and do what you have to do to avoid any damage. Just, you know, take your time when strapping them down Motorcycle might seem easy to transport compared to a car, but you know, you don't have the advantage of a four wheel platform. So you have to balance that load with your securement. And also they're just, they're quite a bit more fragile. You know, you've got delicate, delicate components and oftentimes expensive components and a lot of stuff that's made out of plastic. So I hope that helps you guys. If you're looking to do motorcycle transport, you know, many of those, um, many of those loads are looking to have enclosed transport. So this is kind of a unique situation to have open transport. But to be honest, these aren't brand new motorcycles. This one here is a 2004 actually. So open transport, totally fine. Motorcycles ride outside, obviously. If you do a good job securing them, 
got a little spray shield on this trailer it really shouldn't be a problem so hope that helps you guys out if uh you're kind of scared to take on motorcycle loads in the past or just weren't exactly sure the best way in strapping them down once again try to go to the inside of the bars pulling to the right and to the left and then whether you go to the bars again with another set of straps and you know that's your back up there or to the fork legs just have two sets that'll keep that bike from flopping over and then i would say one through the rear wheel like we did on this one as well so there you have it just the little aluminum motorcycle trailer with the sd 1300 on there and then also our kawasaki klr in the bed of the truck so praise god we finally got a little vacation time we're actually um going to drop this bike off and do a little riding ourselves and enjoy a little time up here so it'll be uh, about a week before my next upload but I've been uploading videos every Sunday so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please hit the subscribe button and also click that bell for notifications but I'm going to try to keep uploading every Sunday for you guys and um, keep giving you tips and tricks that I learned along the way again I do not claim to be an expert but every day I learn something new and every day I get into the Word of God and certainly learn something new from my Lord and Savior every day. So I hope this encourages you guys to do the same and uh, God bless you. I love you all and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.